I keep stepping on my tuner because I'm playing single coils and wide open there they sound like this. It's not terrible when you're touching the guitar. Then your hands off, you know. People ask how I deal with hum and uh, what I do about it, and I just I just mute a lot. I I kick my volume pedal in the uh, heel down position often. Um, when the band's playing, there there are a couple studios in Nashville that are atrocious for 60 cycle hum. Uh, Sound Emporium in the B room in particular, it's pretty loud. Ocean Way, <laughs> it's pretty loud there, and you know, in a full mix, it's like, it's not louder than what you're playing, right? So the only times it's really a problem is if you're in a pretty sparse mix and it's quiet and your guitar is very forward and there's a lot of space. That can be a problem, and and in those situations, I'm like, I'm gonna look for the angle at where the hum starts to like almost phase cancel because of the way I'm pointed. Or I'll grab a humbucker guitar, you know. Um, but on tracks where it's absolutely unavoidable and it's just going to be the whole time, I will let the last note ring out and then just leave it open and let it let the engineer record some of this, just this open noise floor. And uh, these days. I think it's because we're in such an incredibly wireless world with signals going everywhere and, and it just seems like, I could be totally wrong, but it seems like the, the 60 cycle hum, because we play with a lot of gain and pushing heavy amps and there's wireless stuff float, flying everywhere, we just have a higher noise floor. So there are a couple of uh, plugins, I think Isotope is one, where you can grab that hum and literally carve only the hum out of the track. So if you leave it wide open at the very end of the track for your engineer, then they have something they can put into Isotope and carve that those exact frequencies out, like the offending frequencies, right? And it can be such a precise carve that it doesn't really change your tone at all. So that's another way that I deal with it. Um, live, <laughs> It's just hard. If you're playing a guitar with P90s or open single coils and you're standing under a neon sign on a stage, you're just going to have to be on your volume pedal a lot, you know? You're just going to have to be muted. You're just going to have to catch your catch your guitar volume and roll it down. It's just second nature to me that I'm never, I'm never just sitting there while people are talking with the buzz, you know? So anyway, thanks for coming and checking this out.